Good afternoon. It's with great pleasure that I introduce David Alsop. He is the owner and director of Sweet, a commercial gallery located in Upper Cuba Street in a heritage building. As well as operating the gallery, he also manages the print archive and copyright for well-known photographer Arns Westra, one of 25 living New Zealand arts icon artists. Prior to establishing Sweet, David worked as a lawyer for Kensington Swan, Chapman Tripp, New, New Zealand Post on the establishment of Kiwi Bank, Clifford Chance in the Netherlands, and most recently as VP of Legal for AirCap, AirCap, a global leader in aircraft leasing and trading. But enough from me, I hand over to David. Thank you, Linda, for the introduction, and also thank you to uh, Lynn McKenzie, who's not here. Uh, speak up. Yep. Better? Yep. To Lynn McKenzie, who... Hi, Chris. Who uh, invited me to, to come along and speak today. Now, I, I do like to, to speak about Arns. It's one of um, my knowledge of her and her life and her lifetime's work. It's something at some point, if Mastermind was still on, I would endeavour to enter. But it's not, and this is the next best thing. Um, it's not too long to speak, and I'll, I'll, I've written some notes really just to, to, so that I can keep going through uh, the different aspects of the relationship with Arns, and to keep some chronology, and also hopefully to, to keep it relatively straightforward so that um, people can understand what it is we encounter and how it is that we, um, that we work. So what I actually do um, is I'm, well, I have a gallery on Cuba Street, as you heard in the introduction, that has 12 um, contemporary artists to all <coughs> professional artists. I represent them. I hold ex exhibitions of their work. We sell their work. We place it in collections. We organize exhibitions. And I generally manage the relationships um, between them and the outside world. As well as that, I look after a big photo archive um, for Aunts. Um, most of you, I hope, will have heard of Aunts. She immigrated to New Zealand in 1957 and set about, from, about, from 1959, uh, recording what is sort of largely accepted as the most comprehensive documentation of New Zealand culture ever. So it's a real privilege to, to be in a position of, of um, working with an icon artist and someone who has um, uh, who will be leaving a huge legacy and a very important um, body of images to the country. So the images that will just flow through are just some that we, we put together on a, on a slide. I mean, there's, her archive comprises 150,000 approximately images. Uh, so at any one point, choosing what to select when you're giving a presentation or holding an exhibition is a very, very difficult task. But it's a task made a lot easier by the fact that her images are, for the most part, quite incredible on many levels. Uh, history, uh, social history for New Zealand, obviously, episodes uh, around publication of books and, and withdrawal of books uh, in the 60s, Wash Day at the Par, some of you will have heard of, which was con controversially withdrawn following uh, opposition from the Māori Women's Welfare League about the way that the images represented Māori. So my interest in Arns' work is, it goes back pretty much to as long as I've had an interest in New Zealand art, and that sort of goes back to uh, the early stages of university when I was starting to, to meet artists and to go to regional um, galleries around the country. Well, I hadn't even appreciated that Arns was a woman at that point, but I did hear her name coming up all the time, uh, exhibitions and books, magazines, anything to do with black and white photography, there was a pretty good chance that Arns' name would be credited um, for that image. So even though I was initially interested in, in sort of paintings at that point, I, I was very aware of her and in the early 2000s started to... Yes. Uh, Minty's rappers. <laughs> in the early 2000s, uh, when uh, my wife and I moved to the Netherlands, I started to to collect photography, and Arns was the, was the first person um, whose prints that I sought out. So, 
2006 was the first time uh, that I met Arns, and that was actually in the Netherlands, uh, an exhibition that originated at the National Library of New Zealand called Hanbok, uh, which many of you will have, will have no doubt seen either in Wellington or Auckland or Dunedin, Christchurch, or toured right around the country. It was effectively sort of one person's um, view of a greatest hits, if you like, or a retrospective of, of Arns's career. And the last leg of that exhibition tour was in Leiden in the Netherlands, which was her birth city. Hi, Rob. Um, Susanna and I were living in, in the Amsterdam at the time and had been aware of Arns, as I said, and made the effort to, to, to go down to Leiden and, and meet Arns there, which, which we did. Um, she doesn't remember that meeting, but I do quite distinctly remember my son was two or three months old and she poked him and made fun of him, as she still does. Not long after that, uh, Susanna and I moved back to Wellington. Um, weren't entirely sure yet what I was going to do with my life at that point. It was quite a sudden decision to move back to New Zealand. Susanna's mum fell terminally ill. Uh, but it was an opportunity um, with some consultancy work um, in, the, in the bag, so to say, um, for me to look at uh, developing a career or a business around the arts, which I've been so um, interested and passionate about since university. So 2007, uh, we established Sweet. Uh, it's 11, yeah, 11 years now, and there's never been a dull moment since. But even um, from the start, it has only been um, what I can describe as an absolute roller coaster of emotions, entirely energy sapping, but hugely rewarding and there's still not a day goes by when I don't enjoy uh, going into the gallery or, or being given an opportunity to speak about the artist who, who we work with. So it is something um, which I'm really pleased to have, have established uh, and to be doing something s sort of useful, I guess, with my life um, is, is a really, really great thing. Arns came along to the gallery not long after we started um, as a guest of the uh, Dutch ambassador at the time, Ari. Yep. Um, we held an exhibition because we'd been living in the Netherlands. I brought some European work back to New Zealand and, and showed that. So th one of the artists was a Dutch photographer. Uh, the embassy of the Netherlands here very generously supported the exhibition by uh, freighting, contributing to the freight to come out and uh, invited a few guests to come along to the opening, one of whom was Anse. So not really knowing at the time um, how the whole etiquette of the art world worked, I uh, very directly, because I'd been living in the Netherlands and knew how to directly approach things. Uh, <laughs> I'm still quite good at that. Uh, asked Anse if she'd be interested in having a few prints at the gallery. Uh, so yeah, a couple of weeks later, sure enough, she, she wandered back and had a couple of prints. I can still remember, actually, the, ex the huge excitement that I had when these things arrived. Uh, and from there, our relationship really developed um, just quite massively. So 2010, some of you may have seen uh, that we operated a small gallery in Oriental Bay. Uh, just opposite the Port Nicholson Yacht Club, it was it was a it was a, it was a garage actually uh, connected to 108 Oriental Bay, and I converted that when, into a small gallery space with a glass front, so you could see everything from from the parade. And for the latter part of that lease, uh, we dedicated that space to aunts because it had sort of as we, as I'd got to know her more and more and more prints kept arriving, um, it sort of became clear to me that we needed to find a way that we could sort of not, not put her on a pedestal, but, but give her her own space to uh, let her images and her work um, just be seen and, and be shown. So the experiment to, to start in Oriental Bay kind of proved to me quite early that um, we could sustain a dedicated space for Arns, that her work was so uh, valuable to the country and notable that you know, we, we, it would be almost a case of literally putting Arns' name out on the, on the sign uh, out the front of the gallery and people would, would want to wander in and, and have a look at the images. So that carried on. Um, in 2013, uh, we sort of formalised our relationship. 
by joining um, as directors of a company that we established to manage all of her print archive and copyright. So that company, which is called Sweet Terahunga, obviously my part, the Terahunga is Anza's suburb in Lower Hutt. Uh, that company is appointed as her agent to basically deal with everything related to her archive and the intention is obviously after she um, passes that, that her um, family will enjoy her shareholding. Her daughter, um, given Arns' failing health, has already joined me as the, as the second director of that company and that, that, will, that is very well set up now to, um, to continue for many years to come. Anz uh, initially deposited her, started to deposit her negatives with the New Zealand Li National Library in 1985. Uh, the agreement, this is where the lawyer and me starts to get really excited.